Well, as the cases go up, so do the hospitalizations out there. NBC6 anchor Carlos Suarez is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital with more on a pressing concern for state officials here. Carlos. Well, Juwan, late this afternoon, the president and CEO of Jackson Health announced that he has tested positive for COVID-19 after having been exposed to someone who had the virus. We're told that he showed no symptoms of it and that he is doing okay. Now, Jackson Health says they are treating 67 people with the virus and that they began clearing some of the space, some of the rooms out here to treat the injured when the outbreak began earlier this month. NBC6 confirmed Jackson Health began moving rehabilitation patients into a new rehab building two weeks ago in anticipation of an increase in COVID-19 cases. Originally, the old rehab building was going to be torn down, but the decision was made to keep it. In a statement, Jackson said it was in the process of moving patients and that its emergency plan involved housing a surge of COVID-19 patients at the old rehabilitation hospital if need be. The possibility that hospitals won't have enough beds and ventilators remains a pressing concern for state health officials. We're always monitoring the hospital space because remember flattening the curve is making sure that you're spreading this out enough so that the hospital system can cope with it. Jackson Health has six hospitals in Miami-Dade County with 2,371 beds and 2,000 ventilators. JMH said it has rented additional ventilators and has an outstanding order of them to meet a demand. The governor has put the available availability of beds in the state at 33%. It's slightly higher in Miami-Dade at 36% and in Broward, the number is 39. We've also staged field hospitals in Broward and Miami-Dade. I've identified other facilities that could be used. We have additional beds if need be. And then the Army Corps of Engineers will also help us if it comes to that. All right, they are just over 16,400 beds in Miami-Dade and Broward County. That number is according to the American Hospital Association. And most health, uh, health experts agree that that number alone will not be enough to treat the sick folks that are expected in the next couple of weeks, if not months, and for the remainder part of the year. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to take a look at some of the test results in Miami-Dade and Broward, specifically just how many of them are coming back positive. So we'll have that part of the story come the top of the hour. For now, though, we are live outside JMH in Miami. I'm Carlos Suarez, NBC6 News.